Good afternoon, everybody. I promised myself I wasn't going to do another intro for my truck, but today, I just can't help it. I got a little tip from a friend of mine. There might be some cats laying out in front of this, this park um, in, on Lake Levon here in North Texas. And it's 2.30, gets dark at 5.30, and I got a 45-minute drive after rigging up. So I don't have time to sit at the lake and do an intro or mess with the camera. So we're just going to go fishing. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go after some blue cats. That's what I'm looking for today. I'm going to try to slime the kayak. See if I can't catch. And actually today, honestly, um, I've been catching some fish, decent size, um, letting them go. Today, I'm trying to catch keepers. I want to catch that 5 to 12 pounder. Now, I've caught some 12s. I caught some 10s. I even caught a 7 uh, two days ago. But I didn't keep them because I just caught one at the time. Today, I'm going to try to catch enough to keep them all, clean them, and be worth doing. So, let's see if we can catch. Let's get down here. See you on the end. I guess going out by yourself is just part of life. I mean, I got friends that have different types of responsibilities than I do. I've got other friends that just don't like fishing as much as I do. I don't know. I don't really know what the deal is with everything and everybody, but guess what? I'm still going out. Regardless, I have to be by myself. Just have to be by myself. Drop the rods and the rod holders and park my truck and go get after it. Go get after it. Y'all ready to get after it? I'm ready to get after it. I'm ready to see what's out there. I'm gonna kind of cue off of these birds. We've got some gulls sitting out here. Some kind of birds. Look like seagulls anyway. I don't know what they actually are. Man, if you guys don't drink this body armor, you should. It's way better than Gatorade. Probably sweeter because it has more sugar, but it tastes better. I like it. I'm in a lightweight hoodie. Zip up hoodie pair of jeans and if you notice my shoes I love these shoes I highly suggest these to anyone from what I understand the military special forces uses these shoes these are Solomon's now these are the quest ultras but they are the GTX which is the Gore-Tex they're waterproof and if I'm not mistaken the special forces use the Quest 4D GTX. So what that does is gives them a little bit more reinforcement on the sides, rubber reinforcement for impact resistance. It has a lot more reinforcement in the back of the heel as well, but it is the exact same boot. They're a little pricey, but they're worth the money. And I wear these anytime it starts cooling off all the way through spring. If I'm not wearing wading boots, waders, this is what I'm wearing. Let's get out here and get anchored up, see if we can find some fishes. There we go. The guy that told me to come out here today told me I could kayak my bank my baits out from the bank if I wanted to, but I chose against that. Decided I don't want to do it that way. So that's not what we're gonna do today. We're gonna sit here and drift a little. Let's see how that goes. Fish on them. Got them hitting rods on both sides. He don't feel like a big old dude, but he's definitely gonna be one we're gonna put on the stringer. That's a definite eater. I let him have that way too long. That was a mistake. 
Yeah. Nice little eater. Eater blue right there. Got no problems with that. Got no problems with that. I know. I'll get you fixed up here in just a second, buddy. Just a second, I'll get you fixed up. Finally. Finally, I get one to take it down correctly. Like they're supposed to. Like they're supposed to. It feels like a pretty nice little old fish. Pretty nice little old fish. Circle hook work just like it's supposed to. Oh, that one's a little heavy, dude. Heavy little old dude. I'll take that. It's kind of what we're after right there. I didn't bring a scale or nothing, but he's worthy. He's definitely worthy. Get that open, get this hook. There we go. I know you probably don't like that, but you understand it helps you because it helps me get this hook out of there. Man, that hook buried itself good in his little cheek. There it is. Awesome. And when it works like it's supposed to work, that's what you get right there. That's what you get. And that made it all worth it now, didn't it? Oh goodness, he's fighting. Let's see if I can rebait it up. Let's see what we can do. So, okay, I've got one on this rod in my hand. Got him. Yeah. He's a little guy, but I got him. Let's see what's been pestering us this whole time. That right there is the reason we can't catch them. That's why. Seven knot hook, and they're little little guys, little bitty guys. So I nailed him, poor little guy. I nailed him right through the head. But yeah, so when you get them like this, and you're using whole whole chad on seven knot hooks are larger they're gonna just sit and pester you and another thing they're gonna do is fin the crap out of me when I try to let him go there you go there you go you later little buddy what we'll do is we'll keep a couple of these rods rigged for big fish put down some live bait see if we can't bring up some of those 20 plus and then we'll keep two rods out two or three rods out with uh smaller hook, smaller bait and fill the freezer so it's gonna be a good day tomorrow Doo -doo -doo. It's supposed to be 76 degrees man it's gonna be warm that's gonna be nice night. all right guys a quick interlude so got out there today by the time i got into the park is about 45 minutes turned into about an hour and 15 minutes with traffic bad time of day by the time i got in the park got the kayak out unloaded, went and parked, came back down, got everything set up on the kayak, got out to my spots, anchored and moved around a little bit and found my depth. Oh man, it got real late real quick. I mean, I really didn't have much more and I would get, give a good 40 minutes of sunlight. Um, and then I really, I couldn't even, I couldn't film if I caught anything. So I uh, just decided to call it a day. I did catch some fish. I caught one really nice one and went about seven, eight pounds. Uh, but one good thing is, is I'm just going to have to use this as a scout trip and go back and fish. Well, I'm off tomorrow. I have nothing to do tomorrow but fish. It's supposed to be 76 degrees. It's like November 20th and it's going to be 76 degrees. That's amazing. As promised, I'm back this morning. Got me all rigged up. So here's what I do in the back of my kayak, just so you guys wanted to know. I use a uh, milk crate and a Vittles vault that's a pet food carrier. Got it like Petco. 
and an aerator. Now I've got a dual output aerator on the other side, but I didn't bring my big battery. So I just brought my little small aerator and clipped it on the side there. But I have a lid for that and a lid for the crate as well. Um, but I just keep them off because it's easier to reach in there and get the fish. But that's how I do it with a three rod holder off the back and works great. Let's get out here. Straight out here and go get some fishes. Some more fishes. Today, we'll hopefully get some biggins. I want some biggins. I ain't fished for biggins in a while. I want some biggins. Peanut butter crackers there. Push off. Got to look. It's November 19th. So, it's chilly. It's chilly out here. It's not bad. Actually, it's in the high 60s, but the wind's blowing across my ears. So if we're gonna go up here, I'm gonna throw out an anchor point and turn around and face the other direction, downwind, and face the sun. Then the wind won't be a factor. The sun will keep my body warm and I won't have to deal with wind. Let's get over here. All right, so I'm fishing about 100 yards north of where I was yesterday. I'm in about 35, 30, 35 foot of water, and I'm gonna play with fire a little bit. I'm gonna put live bait on two, possibly three rods. I brought three of the Academy Pro Cat bait caster rods with 65 pound braid, uh, 50 pound leader. And then I brought one pin battle 4000 that I'm gonna put cut shad on for the smaller fish. But I'm actually wanting to get a little bit of both. I wanna catch some eaters fill up my freezer. I, I got some good fillets last night off those fish, but I want quite a few more. But I'm also gonna go for a couple trophies today. I'm looking for 20 plus. I brought little perch, they're only about that big, so I don't expect to really get into the you know 40 or 50 pounders, but 20, 25, that'd be nice. Let's see if we can catch some of those. Sure is pretty out here. A little cool, but pretty. Uh, finally got one of those suckers after my bait. <laughs> Little turd. They mess with me and mess with me. But finally. Wow, he's feisty. Feisty little dude. Uh, get in here. Feisty little dude. Feisty little dude. Now, that's about the threshold of my keeper size. That'll make good fillets, but I ain't keeping anything smaller than that. But he's kind of what we're looking for. You know that couple three pound eater. Couple three pound eater. Ooh, this one isn't as dinky as that last one. Give me some drag in case I need to. Give him a little drag. I feel him rolling. Feel him a rolling. He's an eater. He's not a big old big one. But he's a little bit bigger than that last one. A lot, a lot like that first one I caught this morning. A whole, whole lot like that one. I'll swing him in and get him on the line. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eater fish right there. That's what I need. I need me some eater fish. Hey. Hey, what you doing? Have you caught anything? I mean keepers, I but... I thought you wanted to catch the little ones today. I do, but I want to catch some big ones too. I don't want to just, the big one yesterday. no, I'm talking like big ones, like 20, 30, 40 pounds. I got one. Oh, he feels nice too. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Wasn't expecting that. I'm all trying to tell you something. I'm looking at another rod and this thing just blew up. I get to show you a fish in a minute. 
Oh, if he don't get off, he's flopping around like crazy. Oh, I got another one. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, I got another one. This, you can hear that one grunting. Yeah. This one's kind of, the one I got on right now is kind of pissed off. They're not very big. I mean, they're, they're, they're nice. Oh, this one's way bigger. Yeah, this one's way bigger. Ugh. Lose a rod. Holy crap. I moved to the right spot, looks like. I just moved when you called me. I just moved. Awesome. Yeah, they're both grunting away. I'm gonna be all tangled up. Anyway. Ooh, I barely had that guy hooked. I was lucky on that one. All right, we had one take down a flapper shad. As Richard Jean would say, flapper shad. Oh yeah. She's a nice one. She's a nice one. My net. Let me give me a little bit of drag. Don't want to lose it. Don't want to lose her. Got her to the top. She's ticked off. Got her to the top. And she's ticked off. Ugh. All we can hope for is a good hook set on this pup. Goodness. Oh. <laughs> All right. I can't even put them out of the water. There we go. Ah. Woo. There we go. There's one of them. It's one of them ones we was looking for, wasn't it? All right. Let's see what we got here. guys oh crap there you go that's probably i'd give him about 18 pounds i really wanted to get a 20 today not sure we got a 20 but he's getting there he's real close to 20. real close get this strap down and get out of here I got out of the water a little earlier today than I normally would have I'd never leave daylight if I could help it but uh I'm hungry haven't eaten all day and I caught me a stringer full of keepers and I caught a sizable another blue yeah well I call that a good day But I'll spare you guys all the all the eater hookups and uh, ain't no use in filling up a video with a whole bunch of the same size fish. But I appreciate all you guys watching my videos. I'd also appreciate it if you guys would interact with them and like them give me some comments or some feedback that'd be good so I'd know what you guys like and don't like and maybe I could do a better job for you Lake Lebon 
had a good day today. I usually don't fish this lake, but I got some really good information about it and that information panned out. You guys have a good evening.